If you live in a place where internet speed isn't really your best friend, just like where I am, then uploading videos on YouTube can be very daunting because it can be very slow, mainly due to the massive size of your files. And oh, the other side of it is that hard disk space easily run out when your video files are quite huge. Worry not if you have this challenge because in today's video, I am going to be showing you a way to counter this where you can convert these huge gigantic video files from this big size to a smaller size while still maintaining the quality. Only downside of this tool is that it is actually a pay tool. However, there are free options out there. But hey, if you do this on a daily basis, then this is an investment that is worth it. The tool is called UniConverter and the advantage is that it that's more than just converting or compressing files. So trust me, paying for this service is not something you're going to regret. Now, let's get right into this video. To follow along, make sure to go to Wondershare's website and download the latest version of UniConverter. So now that we have opened the software, we can see many other features that are embedded in here. You can video enhance, you can remove backgrounds, you can batch process images, a lot of things all in just this one package. In our case right now, I'm just going to click on the compressor right here. Now here we have several options. Guys, this is as easy as it gets. You can simply drag and drop your video in here or you can click on add files and then it will take you to wherever that you have your file in just click on the file click on open and then it's going to import it here what you're going to do is that you are just going to come here and click on this resize and over here, we can see the slider. The more we go to the right, the bigger the file becomes, which defeats the purpose, right? We are here to learn how to reduce the size of the video while still maintaining the quality. So in this case, when we move this down, and as we are moving this down, we can see the intended file size. And guys, if you're already on the paid version, then you are already going to have this AI button over here. I suggest you use the AI because it's going to give you the best results. So you click on AI compression. You can go ahead and reduce this till you get to the point where the size is okay for you. One interesting thing here is that whilst all this is going on, we can click on the preview here so that it will convert just a little portion of it and then we can have a Look to know whether the number we've selected is an acceptable rate or not so over here this is how it is going to look like i think this is quite acceptable right so if you're happy with this all you need to do is just to close this and come back and then we just say okay and now we need to select where the file is supposed to be located we come here say file 2 and then we just click we are done all we need to do now is just to click on the compress button and oh before you do all of these things there is a very interesting thing happening over here on the screen it's called high speed conversion and when we click on the toggle switch we realize that it has ultra fast speed enable gpu acceleration and trust me i've done tests with this if you don't have all these things enabled it's going to be quite slow if you have this on the conversion is going to be smooth and fast and trust me nothing even comes close to this in the market so that's another cherry on top of the cake as to why you should subscribe to this particular service that is it if we are dealing with just one file now how about if we have many files files that we are dealing with once again we can simply go to a folder where we have all these files that we need we can just select everything and then just drag it and then bring it in here and just drop it and then we are going to have all the files this is as easy as it gets guys here is the difference when we were dealing with just one file we came here and did the resizing and then we clicked on compress and all that but with this if we are doing batch processing all we need to do is to come down here compress all and then we can reduce it to whichever size that we want so this is affecting everything and as we are doing all this you realize that it has automatically selected every video file that we already have here and we can click on the settings to visualize it to be able to see so like i said between 40 and 50 we're best for me and then i make sure that i'm going to have ai compression on and then i'll just click on okay once we are done and then it has automatically updated all the files we don't need to go individually and touch all of them and all we now need to do is to make sure that we select the folder where we want to save them and then after that we just click on compress all 
and that is exactly all you need to do and then from there if you upload into youtube you can go ahead and do that and this is going to be way faster because you are dealing with less pixels hence a smaller file size i do hope this was helpful if you do have any further questions let me know in the comment section below i'll catch you in the next video until next time as always guys keep practicing filmmaking peace out